KHQA this morning. It's your news now. Kristen Aguirre out and about in Quincy this morning. Yeah, hey, I have a feeling she's doing a little dancing. Let's <laughs> check in with her and see what she's up to. Good morning. I'm getting my dance on. And we're talking Dancing with the Local Stars. The event is being held this Friday. And coming up later in the show, we are going to learn all the details about who the proceeds benefit. And we're going to get a little in a sneak peek and a little dance instruction from some of the instructors. You're watching KHK this morning. Well, let's check in with Kristen Aguirre, who is uh, getting her twinkle toes on today. Yeah, that's what we should call her. Twinkle Toes Aguirre. How's it going, Kristen? <laughs> Good morning, that's right, I'm getting my dance on, and we are talking Dancing with the Stars. Lindsay and I are actually competing, and it is coming up this Friday. With me now is Eric Thomas from uh, Cornerstone, who will be getting all the proceeds. So for people who don't know, what is Cornerstone? Uh, Cornerstone is a social services agency. We help people meet life's challenges. We help from uh, young families to uh, the elderly, whatever issues they're dealing with, uh, psych psychiatric services, all kinds of stuff that, uh, that we offer at Cornerstone. And so all the proceeds from Dancing with the Stars goes to this great organization, and we still have some tickets available. We sure do. We've, uh, we're trying to hit last year's mark of about 714 people, so I think there's about 650 signed up, so still lots of tickets left to go, lots of room. And if people want to come get a ticket and support, what, what do they need to do? Uh, you can either call Cornerstone um, or you can uh, go online. It's cornerstone-quincy.org. Um, you can sign up for the Dancing with the Stars uh, on that link there. So. And so this is the third year, correct? Yep. This is and the third. so what what made you guys kind of start this fun kind of charity event? Well, we had we had done uh, like some silent auction stuff before. We had done we'd actually had a comedian in. Um, you know, maybe drew 200, 300 people, something like that. And then we kind of started the show that's also this idea you know, three years ago, and we made it go. So yes, and it is very fun and exciting. We have some of our dance uh, competitors and instructors in the back and we're going to show you a sneak peek of what you can see at Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Are you excited by this? I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tegan saw a little bit of our practice yesterday. I'm thrilled. You know, it, we're having fun. It's well, been... Kristen Aguirre out and about in Quincy this morning. Yeah, she's getting her blood pressure going. She's doing a little salsa. How's it going, Kristen? Yep, I'm getting my groove on this morning, and we're talking and dancing with the local stars. And with me now are two competitors, Betsy Wirt and Brian Paulman, who are competing this Friday at Dancing with the Local Stars. Where is your routine at right now, guys? Well, we're feeling pretty confident about it. We've been practicing a lot. Yeah, ha ha what have your practices been like? Are they intense? We've had a few intense moments, <laughs> but they've been pretty fun for the most part. And this is a definitely a really fun event, but all the proceeds go to a great organization. Did that have any weight in you guys kind of volunteering and say, okay, I'll do this? Oh, absolutely. What a great organization to raise money for um, and also have a good time while we're doing it. So Cornerstone. Have you guys been to any with the Dance with Local Stars before? Yeah. Have you ever been? I've been to one, <gasps> yes. And yeah. so do you think your dance is, is up there with the other ones? Oh, absolutely. We're we're excited about it. Yeah, yes, very much so. How long have how long have you guys been practicing? Well, it feels like years. Yeah. <laughs> and four weeks. Four and weeks. What was your what is the dance that you guys have? What type of what style? Yeah, what style? It's disco or freestyle? Did you guys want that one? Did you guys? Yes, that was our first choice. That was your yeah. first choice. Um, so um, I'm jealous and I'm excited <laughs> to see you guys do that. So they are going to give us just a little bit of a sneak peek of what you can see on Friday. So hit it. Let's see them. If you want to see more of Betsy and Brian's dance, make sure you get some tickets to this Friday's Dancing with the Local Stars. I'm calling foul. Why? I, I appreciate that they're getting up early to, to do this, but you and Kristen are sitting there going, okay, are they oh. am I better? Yeah, but our routines are done. There's nothing that we're changing now. That's true. I'll tell you that. And it's up to the judges to decide. Yeah. Kristen Aguirre has a little spring in her step this morning. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's dancing this morning. Kristen, how's it going? That's right. We are learning a ton of dances that are going to be featured in Dancing with the Local Stars that is going to be performed this Friday. We've already seen some rock and roll, but now we're talking some salsa. With me now is Ignacio Agniano Reyes, who is actually my coach. And we have in the back Megan Dusterhauser and Dan Clausius, who are also doing salsa. Ignacio, can you tell everyone about the grueling process you have been putting us through with salsa? 
Really, I want to say how much these people is putting in this event. <laughs> and uh, just having fun. Uh, <laughs> tropical dances are something new in Quincy, but we appreciate the opportunity to show what's going on. And now you're going to see Kristen. See? Oh, oh, okay. So, real, real quick before we get our dance on, I'm going to talk to Megan and She's Megan and shy. Dan over here. <laughs> Ignacio wants to get the dance on already. So, how do you guys feel about your dance right now? I think we're uh, feeling pretty good about it. We've been working pretty hard, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We have a really good music selection, and we've worked on our costumes extensively. So, <laughs> and so, can you give everyone a little sneak peek of kind of what our practices have been like? <laughs> They're pretty intense. Yeah. They've been pretty intense. We've been practicing twice a week since the beginning. So now we're going to give everyone a sneak peek of our hard work. So we're not going to use the actual music, but we're going to show you some steps that will be in our routines this upcoming Friday. So let's show them a little something, guys. Yay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Oh, yeah. Look at these smooth moves. This took me about two months to learn. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to send it back to you guys at the studio. I'm going to continue to salsa here, and we'll have some more dancers coming up later in the show. I can say with confidence that my dance is completely opposite from that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, we have hip hop, oh. so um, we're not doing any turns, and we have one turn. Do we not get any uh, sneak peek of your dance? Uh, right now no. we're going to talk a little bit more about dancing with the local stars. Yeah, Kristen Aguirre is live this morning getting her little groove on. How's it going, Kristen? That's right. All morning I have been getting jiggy with it and learning all of the dances that are going to be seen and Friday's Dancing with the Local Stars. With me now is Amy Turlop, who is one of the instructors. And your team, what do they have? What's their style? Freestyle. Uh, freestyle. Um, Allison and Dave are over there practicing now. <laughs> They look like they're having a ton of fun. So what, have, what has practice has been like? Oh, they're great. I've, I have four really great couples. So um, it's been more fun than anything else. Mm -hmm. And so um, this is all like volunteer based. Mm -hmm. And what made you want to kind of volunteer with this? Well, this is the third year that I've been involved uh, with the activity. So it's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's performing arts and comedy really all in one night. So it really is a good time. And is, is Cornerstone kind of volunteering our time with that organization? Did that kind of any way in your decision to do this? Oh, of course. Um, I'm also involved with Relay for Life, so I do a lot in that regard. Yeah, and I mean, it's anywhere where you can kind of lend your skills is probably a great time. Of course, yeah, it's great that the community can enjoy something like this together. Well, let's get a, a quick interview in with Allison and, and uh, their team. And so what has practices been like for you two? So fun. We've had a fabulous time. We're really lucky to have a wonderful coach who like laughs with us and lets us fall and hit each other and do the best we can. And what made you guys want to volunteer your time for this? Well, it's a great organization and um, something we can, you know, it, it's really great and uh, we're excited to do this for. We both work in Quincy Public Schools, so we know Cornerstone helps lots of families and lots of kids, and we're honored and excited to help them. All right, well, let's, we're going to give everyone a quick, 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 quick sneak preview. Okay. See them do their moves. All right, we're going to end with them doing the sneak preview, and coming up later in the show, we're going to have some more uh, sneak peeks of other people doing their routine. I appreciate everybody getting up so early because yes. you practice so much. Mm -hmm. So to get up this early and show off your dance moves, we appreciate it. Again, once again, to check in with Kristen Aguirre, who is dancing this morning. Yeah, let's see what she's up to now. How's it going, Kristen? Yeah, good morning. I am taking a break from all the dancing I've been doing all morning, and we are getting some tips from last year's winners. This is Tiffany Fries, who's last year's winning instructor, who has won her team has won two years in a row, and Frankie Murphy Geesink, who uh, actually won last year as well. So you're you have another team in, in the in the run this year. I have three teams in the run this year. I'm a little intimidated <laughs> because she has had the last two years uh, winning. What are some tips you would give people right now? Some tips to people: um, having fun is the like the most important part of, that anybody can remember, and just try to like relax, do what you need to do, think about, you know, think a little bit, but um, just enjoy it. Like, it, it goes so fast. It's 90 seconds, and you're done, and you've worked so hard for it. So mm -hmm. 
enjoying it's the biggest part. Frankie, what are some tips you would give people competing? I would just say to try to find a way to appeal to the audience. That's real. And, and have fun, like Tiffany said, is probably the other thing to do. What do you think pushed you over the edge to win last year? Uh, I think our element of humor, maybe, might have been <laughs> that. And also, we had a skit plus a dance, so we kind of combined forces. Oh, so it's a little bit of theater and dance. And so what makes you volunteer every year for this? Because all the proceeds go to Cornerstone. I just think it's a wonderful cause. I think that anytime, if you saw how many people came to this, it is, it is overwhelming. It's amazing how many people get involved. There's so many, I mean, the it's packed in there. So it's, it's, it's just, it's, I, wouldn't, I would never say no to something like that. And it's definitely kind of nerve-wracking kind of going in. Did Corner, uh, Cornerstone, the proceeds going to Cornerstone, weigh in on you kind of volunteering for this as oh, well? Oh, absolutely. I, I think I may have said no the first time and then once I realized that it was a great philanthropy Cornerstone's a, a fantastic place and uh, it didn't help that Donna Smith was asking me so <laughs> you, know, when, you know when you've got that kind of thing going for you eventually you just say yes. Well coming up later in the show we are actually going to hear from Donna and she's going to give us some more tips on how you can get a ticket to Friday's Dancing with the Local Stars. And get one now because they tend to sell out. Yeah. Kristen Aguirre out and about in Quincy this morning in a rocking chair the last we saw her. Yeah she's done dancing what's going on? <laughs> Good morning. Yep, I am taking a break from all of this cardio and dancing I've been doing all morning. With me now is Donna Smith, who kind of heads up the Dancing with the Local Stars, sets everything up. What made you come up with this idea? Well, we were looking for something different, something the community would get behind and have a good time raising money. And actually, I remember our first committee meeting, we talked about it, and Darla Rashar is a huge fan of the show. And she said, what about ballroom dancing? And I thought, oh, my gosh, who wants to watch ballroom <laughs> dancing? And then it snowballed into Dancing with the Stars. And what a great way to get community, you know, the community involved. Have you had a hard time getting people to kind of volunteer for this? No, we don't, no. In fact, there are people that volunteer to do it. Um, they just, you know, put their fears aside. But a lot of people, yeah, they, they're thinking, oh, my gosh. You know, but most of them thank you afterwards. They're so glad they got involved. Because all the proceeds go to Cornerstone. Right, and so right. can you tell uh, everyone a little bit about Cornerstone? Well, Cornerstone is a family service organization. We do a lot of, it's a, a small um, feel-good organization where people aren't threatened to come in and ask for help. Uh, we have a sliding scale where people who can't afford services elsewhere can afford our services. And so what's a little bit different from this year, because this is the third year from maybe the first year you guys held it? Well, obviously the first year we didn't know what to expect. You know, um, we packed the Holiday Inn, uh, and now it's, you know, almost doubled in size for the amount of attendance. The, um, I think the dancers think a little more about what they're doing instead of the first year they thought, oh, 60 seconds, you know, we'll just wing it. And now they really plan for it, and, you know, it, that... The competition has definitely gone up. So a little uh, quickly, um, can you tell me a little bit about the judging? Sure. We have three judges this year, Tom Vaness, Angie Asman, and then our Miss Illinois, um, Megan, is going to be back to judge. And you guys also have some uh, really big sponsors like to thank. We do. We have um, eight Tango sponsors, and they're AA Dental, ETC Computerland, Gully Transportation, Mercantile Bank, Star Radio, TNT Action Sports, Titan International, and Town & Country Bank. We really appreciate their support. And they will, Dancing with the Local Stars will also appreciate your support if you go out and buy a ticket. There are only a few left, so make sure you get out there and you can visit connecttristates.com to learn how you can be there on Friday night. And as a spectator two yes. years in a row, it is fantastic to watch. A spectator, you haven't been in it. We don't have time to get into that.